Okay, inequalities involving the unknown in the denominator, like this. So um, we need to think about how we're going to uh, solve this question. Um, we probably have urge to times by x on both sides. Uh, but that's not a good idea because um, we don't know what x is. x could be positive but also could be negative. So when you times by negative number in inequality, the, um, the sign will change, which means we are changing the actual question, which we don't want to do that. So to be 100% sure that we are safe, to times it and we are not going to change the question will be times in by positive number. So what is the 100% guarantee we're going to get positive number? When you square it, any number positive or negative, when you square it, you're going to get 100% positive. So that's what I'm going to do. You're, I'm going to times by square number of the denominator on both sides. Now, before we do that, something that it's important that we need to mention here is that x cannot be zero. Why? Because we cannot divide it by zero. So that's the one condition you have to remember all the way through when you solve this inequality. Okay, so I've, I've done that. So if I times that, I will get one less power. On the left hand side, right hand side will be like that. Okay, and I'm going to move this one there to the other side, and I'll get that. Okay, and factorize this, and that's a parabola. Okay, now where's my critical value, critical points here? Is um, let me just put x equals 0 or x equals 1 over 3 but remember x cannot be 0 but it doesn't really matter here because the, the whole thing is a less than 3 so which means it's going to be open circle when we have to sketch it now there's a two ways of do, uh, showing or finding an x set of x values because it's inequality you're not going to get one or two equal x values, it's going to be set of x values. Now, <clears throat> uh, one way is parabola, sketching a parabola graph, and then the other one will be number line. So I don't want to use number line because it's a, you know, they have to section and pass it, um, the test of areas and all other things so it's too complicated so I'm going to just use a parabola so I'm going to sketch the parabola so it's going to be something like this because it's a concave up and it's going to be zero here one third here and I didn't sketch the uh, y-axis just x-axis will do and of course the point critical point there is both of them is open because it's less than three. Okay, now it says the whole thing is less than three. Oh, sorry, bigger than zero. So it's going to be positive, isn't it? Bigger than zero up here. So I'm going to go all the x values here will be above. Because if I picked all the x values here, it would be below, so it would be less than zero. So my final x values are, for this part is x is less than zero, for this part is x is bigger than one third. Okay, now I'm going to quickly just show you, if I did use number line, I still have my zero here, my one third here, and it'll be still open circle. And I need to divide this into section. Yeah. So it'll be area one, area two, area three, and then I have to pick the points and test it. 
and I can guarantee you this will be the satisfying area and it won't happen here. So that means all the x values here, all the x values, just like this, same as this. And then that will be this part, that will be this part. So if you want to know more about this uh, way of doing it, go and have a look at the um, quadratic inequalities video and I explain the both. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, again, I'm going to times by the square of the denominator so that I don't change the inequality sign for this. So x plus 3 square on here, x plus 3 square on here. And again, remember, x cannot be negative 3. Just remember that, that's because we can't divide it by 0. Okay, so next one, let's have a look at that. If I times that, I would left with x plus 3. Okay, that's what I've got. And I'm going to move this one to the other side. Minus 6. And that's less than or equal to 0. So be careful when you do that. What is my common factor here? So don't try to expand this because if you do that, it's going to be a bit more complicated and you end up factorizing it again anyway. So just leave it as it is. Take the common factor out, which is x plus 3. And if I do that, I'm left with just one more of the x plus 3 minus 6, less than or equal to 0. So what I've got is this. And here I've got left with x minus 3. Now this is again parabola. So I'm going to just get parabola here without y-axis. I'm just going to do x-axis right there. And what's my critical points there? x equals 3 or x equals minus 3. But what was on there? Can't be minus 3. So this one is open and that is closed. So here I've got minus 3. 3 minus 3 is open. Just 3 is closed. Okay. Now it says less than 0. So... Less than zero will be below zero, wouldn't it? So it's all here because all the stuff is below x axis. Above it is these ones. Okay, so my final answer for this inequality will be minus three, not included. Be very, very careful about this because the question has less than or equal to. You'd probably like to have this equal to there, but if we do that, we're going to be in trouble. So make sure you do not include minus 3 in your final answer. Okay, next one. Again, same thing. Let me just write it down that y cannot be 0 if I forget. And then we just times by y squared times by y squared, the square of the denominator. So if I do that, I'm left with y by itself, because I could cancel that. I've only got one y left. Okay, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to move this one to the other. And then I've got to do zero there. Okay, so make sure you do that. And um, what's the common factor here, taking just y out, I've got left with a y, minus, so y, that would be y minus y squared plus 6, okay, that looks quadratic, but I don't like this negative part, so I'm going to take the negative out, and put it in order, so I take it out, minus y minus 6 and then I'm going to get rid of this negative by times by negative 1 if I do that 
only thing will change will be this sign because I times by negative one. Okay, just be careful with that. And then what did I do? I'm just going to factorize this. So factors of six, when you times it, it'll be negative six. When you plus it, it'll be negative one. So that just gives me an idea of two and three. And a bigger number should be negative because the middle one is negative plus. So again, my critical values, they are y equals zero, y equals minus two, y equals three, but y cannot be zero. So it cannot be zero. That's going to be open circle. Now this is the um, cubic. Okay, So cubic is, we can't just sketch parabola now. Cubic. Cubic is other of this when it's a positive, like this, positive uh, coefficient. And if it's negative, it's go down. So this is the one we are going to use. So I'm going to sketch the x-axis only, just like what I did with the parabola. And I'm going to just go like that. It doesn't have to be accurate. Just do that. And I'm going to put all these critical points on there. So minus 2 will be the furthest away. 0 and 3. And remember, 0 is open. But then the other 2 is closed. Because it's equal to. The question is. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Alright. Now, what it says here, it's a less than 0. So it's going to be all this below x-axis. So, I'm going to go all of these and all of these, okay? So, let's have a look at that. This part is what? Y is less than or equal to minus 2. And this part is 0 is less than, not equal to. Be very, very careful. And then Y is also less than or equal to 3. So, that's my final answer okay next one d okay now this one's a little bit different but not too too bad even it's got a unknown on the uh, denominator and numerator doesn't really matter we can still do the same way now before i forget x cannot be zero because we cannot divide by zero so what's happening now is i'm going to times by x on both sides so I'm left with x and then x squared minus 5 minus 4 x squared okay so and then I'm just going to move this minus 4 x squared to the other side okay and then I'm taking x out common factor out and I've got left with what x squared minus 5 plus 4x, isn't it? Because I'm taking x out. Now that's quadratic. So I'm just going to put it in an order. It just looks nice and easy. And I'm going to factorize this. Because it's a money, it's easier. So 5 is a what prime number. 1 and 5, easy. And when you add it together, it's going to be 4. But when you times it, it will be minus 5. So a bigger number goes to the same as the middle. And you have to take it away. So that's, again, cubic with what? Going up and down. And my critical points or value is x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals minus 5. But x cannot be 0. But then it doesn't really matter, isn't it? Because they all are not included. Okay? So just be careful. So I'm going to sketch this now. X value. Okay. And I'll put my critical points there. 0, 1. Okay? Now they are all not included. Okay? Now, it's less than zero, so it's a below x-axis. So all the below x-axis are the one that we 
we're looking for. So the, my final answer here is this part is what? X is less than minus 5. Remember, it's not equal to, just be careful. And this was 0 is less than, and the, uh, X, X is a bigger than 0, but less than 1. Okay? So be careful. So that's my final answer. Okay, the last one. Last question. Now, it's not too bad. It looks a little bit, bit more work. Yes, you're right. It is more work, but it's not too bad. So before I forget, x cannot be 1. Okay? Oh, sorry, minus 1. So that's done. And then times 5 square of the denominator so that we don't change the inequality sign. So when I do that, I've got left with 2x x minus 4 times 1 of that, whatever it's left, and then 7 times x minus 1 squared. So that's what I've got left. Okay, let's um, move this one, move this one to the other. So 7x minus 1 squared minus 2x, x minus 4, x minus 1 is bigger than or equal to zero. What's my common vector here? I'm going to get x minus 1 out and the rest goes inside minus 2x, x minus 4. Okay, so that's hopefully you're following what I'm doing. So let's tie it up inside this brackets. So I'm going to make it into round one. So if it's what's going to be, I'm going to put it on the top here. So it'd be 7x minus 7 minus 2x squared plus 8x. Okay. So I've got minus 2x squared plus 15x plus a minus 7. But I don't like negative, so I'm going to take negative out. So I've got... 2x squared minus 15x plus 7, like that. Okay. Now this one is not num mnemonic, so what I'm going to do, what's that, bring the times it together, 14, the factors of 14 that will give me, when you add a 15, that would be, what, minus 1 and minus 14. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is before I do all that, I'm going to get rid of the negative before I forget. So be very careful that I changed. And then I'm going to separate this minus 15 into minus x minus 14x plus 7. Okay, so I'll just separate that. Okay, so x minus 1. And I'm going to do factorizing by grouping. So I'm going to go uh, x brackets 2x minus 1 minus 7. I get 2x minus 1. Hopefully you understood what I've done. So that's my common factor here. So in here, I'll go 2x minus 1, that's my common factor, and then I'm going to put this together, x minus 7 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, 